Retrieval Augmentation Generation, or RAG, is transforming how we interact with large language models. Hi, I'm Stuart, and I'm going to show you the basic and advanced RAG pipelines using Llama Index. RAG combines external data sources with language models to generate informed responses. This approach grounds AI outputs in factual knowledge, enhancing accuracy and also relevance. Let's take a look at the following diagram because this is going to illustrate our workflow through the demos that we use today. We can dive deeper into how RAG works here. We've got document processing. We start here by pre-processing documents from configured knowledge bases. These documents are split into chunks and are embedded into vectors using a specific embedding model. Following this, we have indexing. These document vectors are then indexed in a vector database for efficient retrieval. Next, we have user query processing. This is when a user submits a query. The same embedded model converts this query text into a vector representation. After we've done this, we go into context retrieval. The system here compares the query vector against indexed document vectors. What this comparison does is it identifies the most semantical similar chunks from the knowledge base. After this, we moved on to prompt augmentation. The retrieved chunks here, which are provided with additional context, relate to the user's query and are appended to the original user prompt. The next step in the process is the response generation. This augmented prompt is then passed to the foundational model, or FM if you like, to generate a response. By incorporating the relevant data from the knowledge base, the model's output is informed by the organization's proprietary information. Next, we have an optional system. This is the agent orchestration. In more advanced setups, this RAG process can be orchestrated by agents. These agents use the FN to determine whether a query with the knowledge base and how to incorporate retrieved context into the workflow. The way this works is the workflow allows the RAG system to ground its responses in specific up-to-date information from the organization's knowledge base. It combines the broad capabilities of large language models with precision of retrieving relevant, often proprietary information. By augmenting the user's original prompt with the text from the knowledge base, it then enables the model to provide responses which are both relevant to the user's query and accurate based on the organization's latest information. This is a very powerful model for handling queries about things like recent events, company specific data, or any information that wouldn't be part of the model's general training. Let's break down a simplified RAG pipeline using Llama Index. We're gonna use this code as a piece of example. So first we import a simple directory reader and vector store index from Llama Index. These are key tools for loading data and creating a searchable index. After we've done this, we then use the simple directory reader to load documents from a data forward slash directory. This could contain various file types like texts or PDFs. Next, we create a vector store index from these documents. This is a crucial step as it converts our documents into a vector representation for efficient somatic searching. We can now query our index with a simple question like, analyze the philosophical implications of artificial intelligence potential to surpass human intelligence. The index finds the most relevant document to answer this query. And now finally, we print the response, which is the answer generated by the language model based on the retrieval of the context. By using a complex query here, we showcase the LLM's ability to process and understand nuanced information from a collection of documents which we've provided. The vector store index becomes more valuable in this scenario as it can effectively retrieve relevant information from the documents to answer the complex query. This simple RAG pipeline showcases RAG's core concepts by using relative information from a knowledge base to inform the language model's response. 
While the simple rag part plan is powerful, we can enhance it further with additional um, advanced techniques. One such technique is the router query. Router query engine allows you to root query to different indexes or query engines based on the nature of the query. This is particularly useful when dealing with diverse types of information or different queries require different processing approaches. So let's look at an example of how to implement a router query. Looking at this code, firstly, we're going to import additional classes from Llama index, including in, uh, summary index and router query engine. Now we create two different types of indexes a summary index and a vector store index. Each is suited for different types of queries. We can create a query engine from each index now. These engines know how to search their respective index types. Next up, we create a router query engine, which will decide which query engine to use based on the nature of the query. So for this example, I've pre-built a little piece of code here for this. And here we could use the root underscore query function to take the input query as a string and return an integer indicating which query engine to use. The routing logic is fairly simple. If the query is shorter than 10 characters, use the summary underscore query underscore engine. Otherwise, use the vector underscore query underscore engine. Now back to our main piece of code. Finally, in the router query engine setup, we define the logic for how queries should be routed. This could be based on keywords, query length, or even more complex criteria. The router query approach allows us to handle a wide range of query types efficiently. For example, we could route general questions to a summary index for a quick high level answer, while sending detailed or specific queries to the vector index for a more precise information retrieval. This advanced technique enhances the flexibility and performance of our RAG pipeline, allowing it to adapt to different query types and information needs. By implementing advanced RAG techniques like router query, this offers several key advantages. And so we can do the following. We can have improved accuracy through targeted indexing, uh, for example, we can ask questions like, what was our Q3 2004 revenue growth? The router directs the query to a financial report index for a precise answer. Enhanced efficiency with specialized indexes, for example, we could use something like, summarize our product lineup. This is quickly answered using a summary index, avoiding detailed product specifics. We can have versatile in handling for diverse queries as well. So here, for example, we could have the system efficiently manages the both. So we could have something like explain our returns policy step by step and or overview of our sustainability initiatives using appropriate indexes. This nuanced response to complex questions really makes it simple. Another example we could use is we could have compare our Q4 performances to competitors and suggest improvements. This would utilize multiple indexes for a comprehensive answer. These improvements allow our RAG system to handle real world enterprise grade tasks. It really does empower our developers and our customers and help build service to both access to broad policies and specific details while researchers can obtain both overviews and detailed results, enhancing decision making across various organizational needs. So try this implementation of RAG in your pipeline and your projects. You can find the examples in a notebook, which is in the description to try out all these steps on your own and look at some of the examples we've talked about in the description here. You can experiment with different document types and queries to see how it enhances your AI applications. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more hands-on technical content, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the AWS Developers YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.